Hey Leo, this is Ascension Empress with your April. I was about to say February. April 2021 general love reading. It's your love reading, okay? So thank y'all so much for your patience, for y'all's support, your positive feedback, emails. I appreciate it. And welcome if you are new. If you booked a Equinox special, your reading, um, all the readings will be out by Sunday. So, oh, with a bonus, I'll be including Aries New Moon bonus messages in each of those readings. And if you would like to book a personal, please check back in with me next week, um, Monday or Tuesday, and I'll let y'all know if I continue the special. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get the rest of those personals out the way. I appreciate y'all so much. Like, majority, a good 98, 99% of people are, they just the love they've shown is... I appreciate it. You know, y'all are amazing. So let's see, what messages do we have for my Leos? Sun, moon, or rising in love for April. What messages do we have for my Leos? Please take what resonates with you. Let's see. Wow, new love, new chapter, new beginnings. A restart. Some of y'all are, I, I just had a vacation. Okay, I know that's right. So let's see, what messages do we have going into the past? I feel like there has been some healing too wow i said healing and you got the six of cups so yeah <laughs> there may have been a reconciliation in the past somebody may be connecting with someone from the past or someone who makes them feel like a kid again i feel like because of children there is this um renewal this i'm getting a filtering yeah there's a things that seem a lot fresher what messages do we have going forward some forgiveness has taken place yeah, but <laughs> it may be because somebody saw, saw that somebody else has options because clearly you got the seven of cups you know someone confused and then moving forward um, but at the same time somebody could be offering um, their cup of love <laughs> so there's a lot of offer here there are a lot of offers here so I don't I don't think this person is single and it's one of those energies where you may actually be single quote quote but your heart is taken oh yeah you notice the heart at the top of the ace of cups here um but somebody is still I get somebody's weighing their options or someone may be confused about an offer yeah somebody's confused about an offer you're not sure because there's no guarantee that there was a reconciliation. There may have been talk of reconciliation in the past. So let's see what messages do we have underlying the reading. Underlying the reading. What messages do we have? The death card. Yeah. I feel like either at least one person in, in the connection was going through some type of transformation. Um, spiritual transformation, clearly. And or there may have been a death as well, but now there's some enlightenment, there's some revelation, um, insight that comes, newfound wisdom is out, um, yeah, especially with the death card. You got the shadow work that's being done that may have been confusing, probably not being able to see past what other people have you know projected or offered. You know, this person gave you a heart, another person then gave you what is that stones and crystals another person then gave you a rose and you got a snake up there too you know but either way i feel like you actually may be offering your cup and your energy towards something else um towards i get an eight of cups energy with this especially with the death card underneath and that would be progression oh yeah because you got the six of cups the seven of cups and next would be the eight of cups and look you got the lovers so i feel like many your how you look at relationships the emotion that you give your emotional availability um this the, yeah your heart space it, it's showing up different you're offering your love differently within relationships because you've been weighing your options, because you didn't put all your eggs in one basket, and there is that one cup that's granted to you. Wow. Yeah, I see why. Spirit is like, I got you. So, I say you working, you focus, you know. Faith without works. 
Many of y'all are getting a return on your investment. Virgo had that energy months ago with this Eight of Pentacles here. You know, whatever it is that you're working on, whether it's this relationship, I, I feel like the emotional aspect, uh, either an existing relationship, because the, there's huge, I'm going to clarify the Six of Cups in a minute, but whatever this connection is, there's, there's a return on investment. Clarify <laughs> the Six of Cups. Yeah, look, y'all said Virgo. Wow, look, y'all, you got the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, you got the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo energy, Taurus or Capricorn, or y'all just, you know, this is this was part of the reconciliation. This is part of the expectation. You're like, look now, I'm open. You know, somebody saying I'm open, but you don't have to. This is this, this is what we need. This is what we're building upon. This is what you brought to the table, okay? And Spirit keeps gifting you. God is gifting you and. Look, some of y'all have tapped all the way into your entrepreneurial energy. Um, you, you've created something that is very lucrative. You're finally getting your return for some of you as well. Able to reconcile debts. Many of you, this is the, your cup, you as a couple. Yeah, and that's why there's just a lot of good energy around y'all. With the Ace of Cups and the Lovers, clarify the Lovers. What messages do you have? Clarify the lovers for messages. <laughs> the King of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Yes, it, they. <laughs> Y'all say we stepping into a new cycle a new i feel like y'all about to go what did i say a vacation energy some of y'all are going on vacation retreating y'all putting in the work there's been transformation there's been secrets you know there's been shadow work done um there's been shadow work done okay on both people's part past the confusion now you know look I, i'm so excited for y'all so what is on the other side of this Wheel of Fortune? What messages do you have for my Leos on the other side? Because y'all definitely have emotional reciprocity. Look, Queen of Wands, okay? If y'all are partnering business-wise, either, you know, that or this is how your partner sees you as, a, you know, as everything, honestly. They, see, they do see you as everything, but you, one, are going to be very attractive your product is going to be very attractive, okay? What you have to offer, the work that you put in, the effort that you make, your consistency. I'm getting longevity. Some of y'all, this could be six years. Somebody's getting proposed to. I don't know why I'm just not seeing that. Somebody's getting proposed to with the Seven of Cups here and the Knight of Cups. They're looking to see, okay, which one would she like? You know, it's just, it's just everything is cool. I can trust her. I'm emotionally secure. Like, that is huge for men. That's huge. You know, just like, dang, she got this fire energy about her, but I can trust her with my emotions. Like, I, I see I see how she is with the other men, but, man, you know, that is amazing, y'all. That is amazing. So, let's see. What's the overall message? What is the overall message for my Leos? Baby. What's at the bottom? Look. Because what is it? <laughs> that's, I know that's right. I don't have nothing else to say. Look, the judgment. It is what it is, okay? You better cash that check, Leo. Cash the check. It's yours. <laughs> it's yours, okay? I love y'all so much. Let me know how this resonates with you. Um... Yes, if, again, if you would like a personal, check back in with me. I'm going to knock all the other ones out. I love y'all. I appreciate you for your support and your patience. Take care. Bye.